Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very boring video uh, visually. <laughs> Maybe what I say also, but I think it's important what I say. I am filming the floor in my living room. A uh, beautiful old furniture there, a beautiful curtain, beautiful floor. But what is the bad thing here is all the rubbish on the floor. And what is that rubbish? Uh, it's a bit embarrassing to film uh, the rubbish, but it is for an important cause. It is with the subject plastic. Uh, what maybe is not seen is that there is a lot of small pieces of plastic here on the floor um, and they are not supposed to be there, they are not supposed to be anywhere. Um, so um, let's see, do I see some uh, uh, spider web? I don't know. Well, yes, I do see a little bit of spider web. That's perfectly natural and nothing wrong for the planet at all. It's just a positive thing for the planet. You don't want to have it inside the house, but I'm going to take this away somehow, either by the um, vacuum cleaner or with a bucket of water and soap, natural soap. Um, what can I call that soap? As natural as, uh, as possible, uh, as natural friendly as possible, at least that's what they say on the on the bottle. Well, well, because what I do when I wash um, the floor with water and soap is that I don't throw it in the toilet or sink. I carry the bucket out and throw it out in the garden. And I don't want to have, um, I don't want to have as mild nature, nature friendly um, soap as possible. Um, so uh, that's uh, about the soap, um, but what I don't want to have in the garden is small pieces of plastic, which is here on the floor now. I have not had a vacuum cleaner that works until now. Today, well, I have had it before, but I uh, had a period of time without a vacuum cleaner, because what I, my plan is now is to vacuum these small pieces of plastic and the other rubbish up with a vacuum cleaner. Uh, the plastic will not disappear from the earth anyway because it's in the bag and that bag will go in the trash. Um, in uh, here where I live we have a system where this is um, kind of can't be um, sorted, um, what's the word, um, organized in different like glass, uh, paper etc. So it goes in a um, bag for garbage that will be burnt somewhere. It will be freight, freighted. It will be um, taken by a truck. When I say truck, I mean, you know, lorry, whatever. Uh, it will be taken to a place and burnt. Everything about trash is a long, long, long story that I will make many videos about. But it will be burned. So this plastic on my floor will then end up being burned. But still, we will not get rid of it because it doesn't disappear all of it. What would happen if I had washed this floor normally without vacuum cleaning first? Then I would throw, if I hadn't seen it, I would have just thrown all of this out in the garden. And I would get pieces of plastic in the garden. And microplastic, tiny pieces of plastic... We will never get rid of it. Never get rid of it. It is in the cycle of, what can we say? Cycle of, don't remember that exact word. Everybody knows what I mean. It goes in the earth. Um, yeah, you know, we, we don't get rid of it. It's found, um, yeah. So, that's not good at all. And we have to ask the very important question. Why is so much plastic produced? What are the products that we use that are made of plastic? The important question is, what other materials could we use instead? And that is a very good question and with very many good answers because plastic can be 
Products made of plastic can usually be made of a type of metal instead. Metal, wood, a lot of things can be made of wood instead. Natural rubber exists on this planet. A lot can be made of natural rubber. What about all the other products? We have to uh, question the need of it, the need for it. Um, plastic is see-through, very convenient. Um, but again, we have to question the use. So, the source for this plastic on this floor is ring binders. All plastic just it disintegrates. It's a matter of time. So, the ring binder itself, the plastic there was still whole but this plastic is from that oh what can i call it in english um i am norwegian norwegian is my mother tongue so not all words in english come easily so easily and some words i don't know at all so what's the word for that see through a plastic on the on the end of the ring binder that you can put a little piece of paper and write what's in it i don't you know what i mean that little that little uh square that little thing with see through plastic on the end of the ring binder i guess everybody has got the point <laughs> that plastic was evidently of um another quality that was more easily um, being disintegrated. So that's the plastic that's here. And then when we have, then we have to just find other solutions to tell what's in a ring binder than having that see-through plastic. I think we can just see, uh, take a look at each and every product and we will find a solution because this is pollution inside my house. I will get it out of the house. But that doesn't solve the problem. Even if it's burnt, there will be something left. If it's taken to a, a, a trash yard, then this, this plastic is not, is not my problem anymore directly. But indirectly it is because it's not, it hasn't... Um, disappeared from the surface of the earth this is it's a huge problem and everybody everybody knows that it's plastic trash everywhere everywhere on land on sea in sea uh, on the sea bottom uh bottom of the sea floating around yeah everybody knows that so the production of plastic just um it has to decrease with an enormous amount and the question is that the goal would be to stop it completely. Uh, I guess, may well, each and every product must be evaluated and a ring binder there is no need whatsoever that a ring binder should be made of plastic at all. So I just, there is so much to say about this. Uh, so I think I just stop and talk more about that in other videos. So that's all from the floor of my living room for now. And... There will be other videos later.